Welcome back to the class on electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the super capacitors and ultra capacitors for the EVs and hybrid electric vehicles. The conventional capacitor, nothing but what are the capacitors we are using electronically? Those are nothing but a conventional capacitor. How we are going to define this capacitor? When two opposite charges are separated by the dielectric media, then there is existing a capacitor. The value of that capacitors we can calculate it. C equal to Q by here we have taken the one conductor, here we have taken the one more plate or conductor. This is the dielectric media. Whenever we apply the positive voltage, here the positive charge will be accumulated, here the negative charge will be. Because of the electrostatic field, there is some amount of energy will be stored in the capacitor. The capacitance is defined as a charge per voltage. The power density of this capacitor is extremely high. That is approximately equal to the 10 to the power of 12 watts per meter cube. But energy density will be very very low. That is 50 watts per meter cube. We are not able to use the conventional capacitors in a EVs. I have to do some modifications so that the energy density of the capacitor will be improved by sacrificing the power density of a capacitor when compared to the conventional capacitor. Then only we can use that capacitor in a EVs. The application where we are using this capacitor means the energy storage device in the electrical system. In the electronic side also we are using the capacitor. But this conventional capacitor time constant is very very low. Super capacitors and ultra capacitors. These two capacitors are derived from the conventional capacitors only. The difference between the super capacitor and ultra capacitor when compared to the conventional capacitor only in terms of the power density and energy density. The power density and energy density of the super capacitor and ultra capacitor are of order of 10 to the power of 6 watts per meter cube to the 10 to the power of 6 watts per meter cube respectively. Nothing but eh, the power density of the super capacitor will be low when compared to the conventional capacitor. The energy density is much lower when compared to the battery that is 5 to 25 to 10 to the power of 4 times watts per meter. The discharge time is are much faster when compared to the batteries. The cycle time is much more when compared to the batteries. Super capacitor. The super capacitors are derived from the conventional capacitors only. It is also consisting of two conducting plates and electrolyte and separator. This electrolyte enables the storage of electrostatic charge in the form of ions in addition to the conventional energy store is in a electrostatic charge like in a electrolyte capacitor. This is a current ca collector. This is the electrode material, this is the separator. The internal function in a super capacitor does not involve the electrochemical reaction what we have seen in a batteries. The electrodes in a super capacitor are made up of the porous carbon with a high internal surface area to help observe the ions and provide a much higher charge density. The ions moves very slowly than the electrons enabling a much longer time constant for charging the super capacitor as well as discharging the super capacitor. Nothing but it will take a higher amount of time to charge as well as the discharge. Ultra capacitor. There is slight difference between the super capacitor and ultra capacitor. Ultra capacitors are the version of electrolyte capacitor that use a electrochemical system to store energy in a polarized liquid layer at a interface between the ionically conducting electrolyte and electrically conducting electrode. The energy storage capacity is increased by increasing the surface area contact of the conductor as well as ionized electrolyte. So here if you see means this, these two are the separators, these two are porous carbon electrode so that the surface area will be increased which gives a more current density. Electrochemical reaction in ultra capacitors are confined to surface layer only hence are fully reversible with a long cycle life ultra capacitor there is some chemical reaction will be occurs that only confine only this surface area this surface area where electrode and dielectric material will be interfacing but there is no chemical reaction in case of a super capacitor the use of super capacitor ultra capacitors in evs and HP. even though if you are increasing the energy density of super capacitor and ultra capacitors when compared to conventional capacitors we are not able to use these capacitors as a primary source to the 
electric vehicle. Current research and development is aimed to create a ultra capacitor in the area of 4000 watts per kg and 15 watt hour per kg. We can use the super capacitor and ultra capacitor due to the high power density during the acceleration of the vehicle as well as the deceleration of the vehicle. Suppose when the vehicle is accelerating, it requires a high amount of power. So by the time that sudden power, we can take it from the super capacitor and ultra capacitor. So in this diagram, these four are the wheels. This is the electric motor which is connected to the shaft or the front of two wheels. This is the inverter. This is the battery. This is super capacitor. This is the DC to DC converter. By means of this DC to DC converter, we can convert the DC voltage to the AC voltage. That is given to the motor so that the motor giving a proportional power to the wheel. So the wheels will be rotated. When the vehicle is moving on the graded area, this motor requires high amount of power. That power will be taken from the super capacitor rather than the battery. In that situation, we can use the auxiliary source as a super capacitor or the ultra capacitor along with the battery or along with the fuel cell so that it will meet the sudden demand of the power from the motor or vehicle during the hill climbing areas. But still now, we are not able to use the super capacitors or ultra capacitors as a primary source. It is only the auxiliary source. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I am always welcome to answer all your questions.